everyone, and welcome to reorganizing the universe in your favor. I really wanted to talk about this today because it's been coming up so much for so many people. I've been getting messages and messages and messages saying, I used to do this and now it doesn't work anymore. I've, I don't know what's happening. Things are weird. I can't tell what's going on. And my biggest Every time things get shaken up, my biggest first thought is maybe you need to reorganize. Maybe you need to create structure. And I used to think exactly the opposite. So for those of you who are like, oh, I hate organization or structure is the opposite of my art, I know because I spent a long time thinking over and over and over again, just being really resolute in the idea that if I put structure into my life, that really crazy things would happen. Oh, Gordon, the dogs are coming to visit me right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> they want to be involved. Um, or I'm not sorry. Come here, honey. All right. So I spent a lot of time trying to avoid structure. And the more I avoided structure, the more things didn't get done. Meaning the more I spent time getting Oh no, <laughs> the more I spent time getting involved in this thing where I wanted to be super creative. I wanted to have so much done. I wanted to make sure everything was free and open. I didn't want to close any doors. So if I had organization, I would close doors. And as a result of not having organization, I got nothing done. And as a result of not having organization, I never had progress. And as a result of not having structure, I was all over the place. So if you think about it, you're like a whole giant energy field and your home reflects that energy field everywhere. And if you want to have more order in your life, more progress, more everything, you need more clear space. And that clear space thrives when it is organized. So. It might seem contrary to making art. It might seem contrary to being a manifester. It might seem contrary to all the things that you're used to, but I promise you more order and structure is super creative. In fact, being all over the place, super free flowing can be the thing that holds you back the most. It's almost like the greatest invisible clutter is having no structure. So right now, cosmically, it is Saturn in Capricorn. Saturn is this planet that's supposed to come and make these decisive changes in areas of your life, adding structure, sort of the taskmaster planet. And when it gets into the sign of Capricorn, it finds its best friend because Capricorn is very get things done, get it in order, get it happening, make it happen, very strict and structured as a sign overall. So this theme of Saturn going into Capricorn is this massive reorganization of everything. Um, even things that you thought were going okay might get reorganized. And when you see things getting shuffled and reorganized and shifting, you can freak out. And so the first thing I wanna say is please don't freak out. Please don't freak out if things got stirred up there's always some underlying reason and it's always a call to put more order into life. Rather than freaking out, gets rid of the order in life, right? When you freak out, you can't really control anything. So the more you can stay calm and grounded, the easier it can be. So one thing that I recommend everyone do more of is go outside. Go outside, spend time outside, take walks outside, get barefoot in grass if you can, just really go outside and be in nature. The other thing that's really, really important is to get grounded in your space, whether you're renting a space, whether it's temporary, whether you've owned your house forever, really move into it, really start to see how it's set up and how it's structured and how comfortable and at home you feel and make a priority in the next few years or any time of feeling more at home in your home. At home in your home is more important than anything else because that's where you get that grounded power and from that space of feeling safe and comfortable and grounded, that's where you can make really decisive, awesome changes. So structures whenever you change them 
tend to sometimes fall apart or become chaotic before they become super clean and straight and awesome. So if you're experiencing chaos and you don't understand why, take some deep breaths and start creating new order. Start creating really simple structure. I, in all the camps, we focus on real basics to start everything and I just wanna emphasize this for all of you that if you have some really basic things, like every morning, first thing, I have organic green tea. Every single morning, same time, every day. I used to think, oh, if I did something at the same time every day, I was a robot. But having these little tiny things that I know make me feel better, make me feel more alive, changes everything. It's just like a really stable, common thing that I can kind of use as a springboard. Another thing that you can do if you're starting to reorganize the universe in your favor is to start really digging in. Start really digging into how things are set up right now. And you might think, it might seem, like people just flow through life effortlessly and everything just falls in place for them. But usually those people that have things flow into place for them are really organized in some way. <laughs> They're really structured. They have a really solid foundation. And so if you're rebuilding things and restructuring things and making things go right in a whole new way, it can call you to create new structures. So every day, journal, pen, sit, write. Um, the morning pages from Julia Cameron that I go back to time and time again, sitting down every morning, I have my tea, I sit down with a simple pen, some paper, and just write three pages, free flowing, anything in my head, write them on paper, don't stop writing, don't think about it. Thinking is the opposite of creativity. Let it all flow out of you. Any worries, any thoughts, any confusions, you can even, and this is really spectacular, you can even ask questions to yourself as you're writing. Once you're in a flow, writing, writing, writing these pages in the morning, even if you're writing, I have no idea what to write today, I have no idea what to write today, just keep on showing up and writing. And you can start asking yourself questions, meaning you can start asking yourself, what is the solution to this problem? What is the thing I should know? And without thinking, let it flow through you. Almost let the answer get channeled through you onto the page. This has surprised me so many times. It continually surprises me. It is one of the greatest ways to sort of open up to whatever divine intelligence or personal intelligence or your own higher self, whatever you wanna call it, let it flow through you. This is energy in action. And in feng shui, when energy is moving, that's where you find the magic. When we think too much, that's when things get stuck. So on that note, one of the biggest things that you can do in this time of reorganizing is letting go, letting go and letting things let go, <laughs> letting things kind of fall off that don't really align with your plan. And of course, you won't know <laughs> if they align or not if you don't have a plan. So make yourself a plan, even if right now it's just a rough outline of the things that you want for the next year or the next few years or the kind of lifestyle you wanna lead. Make a plan and the more you have this plan, the more you'll know, okay, it's fine that this dropped away. It really wasn't in alignment with my plan. It's fine that this went. It really wasn't the thing. Now, if you don't really know what you want to do and you don't really know where you wanna focus your energy or you're not focusing it clearly enough, one of the things I suggest, and I'm showing you this because I love these little books, um, these are coloring books, is to make some art often as a habit that is repetitive. So in these little mandala coloring books, there are all of these repetitive pictures that you can color. So you can select colors and you can start creating. And as you make specifically mandalas or other sorts of patterned art, even knitting, crocheting, where you're doing repetitive action, you can start to open up to that creative flow, just like when you're writing in a journal in the morning. And these pieces of meditative art 
are really, really powerful. So that's one great practice. And the more you do it, the more you practice it, the more you'll start to see, oh, wait, this does help me shut off all these thoughts and get into a zone where I'm starting to understand more. Another thing that you can do that's really helpful is to clear some space in your house. Get rid of the obvious clutter. I say this all the time, but I'm telling you, I even find more in my own house every single day. There's always something. We're bringing in things all the time. So keep letting things go. Keep giving yourself space so that you can come up with this master plan that's really brilliant. And the biggest thing ever is follow your feelings. Following your feelings rather than ideas or thoughts. I get so many messages about people who feel horrible because they're not where they thought they should be. And you really shouldn't be anywhere. You are where, you're all, where you are. And from where you are, you can get to wherever you need to be. And one of the things you might want to start doing is tuning into how you feel more often and letting that real feeling be your guide rather than thoughts. So when you're coming up with your plans, when you're figuring out how you want to reorder and restructure things, don't do it because of how it should be. Do it because it works for you. The best organization is not all little tiny jars that are perfectly labeled in your pantry. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. It has to be something that works for you and your lifestyle. There are people who are tremendously organized who don't look organized on the surface, but they have things in order that works for them and what they're doing. So liberate yourself to create the kind of organization that works for you and follow your feelings. So a little exercise that you can do that I share often, and I'm gonna share it again because it's a really great one, is anytime you feel like you're too stuck in your head, either go outside and go for a walk, and that'll help to bring the hemispheres of your brain in sync, or you can actually just put a hand on your, on your heart and a hand on your head, just in the center of your chest and then on your head and breathe like this. And you can breathe like this for a while and you'll feel yourself getting into sync. And that's very powerful. The other thing that you can do, especially if you're starting the day, you feel a little scrambled or not quite present, is you can put a hand on the front of your head and a hand on the back of your head and you can breathe like this. And just sit and breathe like this. And again, this helps just sync up your brain <laughs> in a way so that you're really lighting up all of it and bringing all of your creative energy to your life. Now the feng shui of this all beyond clearing clutter is that your whole home can mirror the plans that you are creating. Your whole home can mirror this new organization. Your whole home can mirror these new systems. So if you've been kind of freestyling or just taking things as they come to you and you're ready to sort of take it to the next level, create structure and then bring that structure into your space so that you have lots of open space, so you have lots of things to look at that mirror all of your intentions everywhere you look so that you have lots of light where there isn't light right now so you have lots of lighter energy where the energy feels stuck so you have lots of symbols of growth so you have lots of specific intentions in your space and if you want to learn how to do that far in far more personalized depth you can download the Feng Shui 101 guide, which is above or below, I think above or below, <laughs> and you will be able to start doing that right away for yourself as you do this. When you put your intentions into your space really clearly, you don't have to think about them anymore because you're living them. You see them everywhere you look. So the outside of life mirrors the inside of life. The inside of life mirrors the outside of life. If you're freaking out, if things feel out of control, just start putting in more organization, more order. I promise you, it won't make you less creative. It will help you to tap into all of your brilliance and it works all the time, not just now for the next two years, it works all the time. But right now it can be particularly uh, amazing because the cosmic themes are in the air. Uh, if you have questions, comments, leave them below and so much more to come soon. Thanks guys. Bye.